Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a GitHub account, creating a repository on GitHub, downloading and installing the GitHub application, cloning your first repo to your computer, creating your first commit with the desktop application and creating your first push with the desktop application. So the first thing that we are going to cover is creating an account on GitHub. In order to do this, we need to go to github.com, which you can see here on my screen. Now, as you can see, this is the home page, and there is a quick sign up form on the home page right here. But instead of using this form, we are going to click on the sign up link in the top right corner. Once this page loads, you can see that we now have a three step form available to us that we are going to use to sign up. So let's quickly go through these steps. Okay, in this first step, we are just going to create our username, enter the email address that we want to use with this account, and create our password. Your first choice of usernames may not be available, so you may have to get a little creative here. Okay, after you've completed those first three steps, simply click on the Create an Account button. Now on step two, you're just supposed to choose your plan. For this tutorial, we are just setting up a free account and as you can see that says choose your personal plan unlimited public unlimited public repositories for free so that's fine and we're just gonna click on continue now we have several options here in step three and really there's a couple of questions and we just need to sort of answer them really quickly the first one is how would you describe your level of programming experience so you can just select whichever one applies to you the next is what do you plan to use github for again just uh, select the ones that actually apply to you I'm not gonna do the other and the final question here or the question before the final one is which is closest to how you would describe yourself Let's say I'm a professional and what are you interested in Game doing some prefill options there web development okay and as you can see here I went through the these steps but you can actually skip this step if you want to now I'm just going to very simply click submit okay after creating your account you have to make sure to verify your email so go check your email really quickly and then click on that and it should bring you to this page up at the top it'll say your email was verified you can just exit that message and now we can see that we can learn git and github without any code and then using the hello world guide you'll create a repository start a branch write comments and open a pull request and to go through those steps you can click on the read the guide button here which will take you through that activity but instead of doing that I'm just gonna click on start a project now this takes me to the create a repository page and on this page we can very quickly create a repository that we will then download so I'm just going to name this repository git dash tutorial now the next option you can see here is description that is optional so I'm not going to enter one and beneath that we have public or private now this is a free account so I don't have any private repository so I'm going to leave that to public and still further down we can see initialize this repository with a readme now I'm not going to go into readmes in this tutorial but I'm also not going to check this button so I'm not going to create one at this time below that we can see add a add.gitignore which is a file that git uses but again I'm not going to do this for this tutorial we're going to cover that in a later tutorial in much greater depth and finally our last option is add a license again I'm not gonna worry about this that for this tutorial but if you are interested in that you can click on this little eye icon here which will take you to a different page that covers the licenses available so now that we've gone through those we can click on the create repository now we can just see another page that's just sort of giving us a little more information about setting up repositories for example you can create one from the command line push an existing repository or import another from another repository so this is basically like giving you ways of getting files into your current repository 
So now that we've completed those steps though, the next thing I want to do is actually go through the downloading and installation of the GitHub desktop application. So I'm going to open up a new tab and go to desktop.github.com. Now I'm on a Mac here so my screen may look a little different than yours, but the process is pretty much the same. All you have to do is actually download the GitHub desktop application here. That will start to download. It's not a very large application, so it won't take very long. But I am going to pause this uh, video until that's actually installed and it's running on my machine. Okay, so I now have this application running on my local machine. As you can see, I've been signed into this application before, so it's pulling up some previous data. But if you haven't gone through this process, before you will need to actually sign in and on a Mac in order to do that you can just go to github desktop preferences and then enter your login information and click on the sign in button okay after signing in you won't see a whole lot in the application you'll probably see this tutorial repository here but you shouldn't really see any other information going on. So in order to actually add our repository to our GitHub desktop application, we just need to click on this plus icon and click clone. And when you click on that, you can see that I have my Git username here and a repository. And that's actually the repository we created a little earlier. So now I'm just going to click on the clone Git tutorial. And now you have to choose a place to actually put this repository and I've got a development folder so I'm just gonna stick it there and clone and now if I go up here and click on this you can see that now I'm on this branch just specified here and here so again you won't see a whole lot going on with this um, you know there's there aren't any files there's nothing to commit but we're gonna change that pretty quickly so what we're gonna actually do is we're going to open up a code editor. Got sublime text here. And I'm just going to create a really quick text file. So something like this is a test of the GitHub desktop application. Okay, and then we can save that and make sure you save it to the folder that was recently created. So there's my folder, and I'm just gonna click Save. Now if I quit Sublime Text, you can see here that I have one uncommitted change, and it's showing this text file. And it just shows that one line has been added to this text file. So what I need to do now is actually add a summary of what I have done in this commit or during this process. So if you added a lot of files, you would have to sort of sum up everything you did um, in this portion down here. So I'm just gonna say added in a test file. And then for the description, my summary is pretty descriptive already. So I'm just gonna add that again. And finally, we have a commit and sync master button down here. So once you click on that, it will push your changes up now this is showing previous commits in our history so it automatically changed over to our history tab and this is now showing that this was our first commit to this repository if you look over here in the top you can see this top section shows us a timeline of the commits that occurred to this repository so the final thing I want to do actually is go back to github up here and just refresh this And now we can see that I'm still on this Git tutorial repository and we can see my first commit here and I can actually click on this and it just shows what was committed into this repository. Again, you can go back, go back out to code and there are a lot of other things you can do through this web interface. You could create a new file, upload files or find files, but for right now, I think that's gonna do it for this lesson. As always, thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe.